वेलकम बैक टू द विद्यार्थी विद्यार्थी चैनल में आपका स्वागत है आज हम लोग कंटिन्यू करने वाले हैं मेंशन का सीरीज का फिफ्थ चैप्टर तो शुरू करते हैं पहला क्वेश्चन आज का यह हमारा पहला क्वेश्चन का ट्राइंगल दिस इज दाइंगल ए बी सी विच इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो दिस इज ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सो वॉट इज गिवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज गिवन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन वी अटेंडिंग द क्वेश्चन वी शुड नो वॉट इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज प्रोवाइडेड द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल एंड द पेरिमेंट ऑफ द ट्राइंगल to find the sides of the triangle so i have written a general information so area of the triangle is provided the perimeter of the triangle is provided the sides of the triangle has to be given for instance in this case we have to find out what is ab what is ac and what is bc so in this case the area of the triangle is given as 1560 cm square perimeter of the triangle is given as 208 cm and you have to find dimensions of the all three sides of the right angle triangle abc so this is generally a question of an competitive nature so you have to be very careful because there is a stipulation of time which you have to follow let us start i give you the solution step by step so what you have to do is if you see the solution part if you see the solution part the first thing you have to write write the given information in the correct order so what is given area so what is area half into so what's your base so we can give them names we can give this as small a centimeter we can give this as small b and we can name this as c these are all measured in centimeter they are all measured in centimeter so these are the units now what is provided in this question is we have been given the area and the perimeter so what is by definition if you have a right angle triangle the area will be half into base into altitude so it is very clear that if a area is given i write the area in here 1560 right so i have a 1560 here i have half and what is my base base is a what is my altitude my altitude is c so if you uh, cross multiply you will get ac is equal to 3120 cm square so this is one of my results so please mark this as one of the results this is one so this is an equation which i can use in the further simplification now this is the first thing which i have uh, inferred from the given information now comes come to come to the perimeter part of it so what is a perimeter perimeter means sum of all the sides of a closed figure so this is a triangle we have perimeter as a plus b plus c so you know a plus b plus c is given as 208 cm so you can put this as your result 2 the third thing which i have to extract from the given information is this is a right angle triangle in a right angle triangle according to pythagoras theorem according to pythagoras theorem pythagorean theorem hmm a square plus c square is equal to 
b square. So according to Pythagorean theorem, a square that is your b square plus perpendicular square that is c square you get b square. So this is your third result which you may have to use it. So I think uh, this is the given part. Okay. From these three information from the perimeter itself, we know that what is A plus C can be written as 208 minus B. Now, what we will do is we will use this information to develop one more relation. Now, if you can see, if I square both the sides, so what I get on squaring. So what I get? I get a square plus c square plus 2ac. So I am using the uh, identity that a plus c whole square is a square plus c square plus 2ac. So I am using this identity here directly. So what I get is 208 minus b whole square. So when I square both the sides, on the left hand side I get a square plus c e square plus 2ac which is equal to 208 minus b whole square. Now you have these values, right? You can write all these values in terms of b. So what is a square plus c e square? Can you see what is a square plus c e square? So this is from 3, I get this as b square. So this is b square. So what is 2ac? You know 2ac is, you have to put ac as 3, 1. So you can put here 3, 1, 2, 0, which you have got it from the result part. Now this you can expand it. So what is this? This is 208 whole square minus 2 times of 208 plus b square. So it's very clear. We have a b square on the left hand side. We have a got a b square on the right hand side. If you take, you shift any one of them at one side, you will cancel each other. So what is left is, we have got 3 into, uh, 2 into 3, 1, 2, 0. This is equal to 208 square minus 2 times of 208 B. I think I left B here. Right. So what I have used here is, this is X minus Y whole square, which is X square minus 2 X xy plus y square. I have used this identity here. So you have used this identity to get 208 whole square minus 2 times of 208 into b plus b square. Now you can see all these are components. These are having 208 in common. I just check if I can divide 3120 by 208. So 3120 if you divide by 208 it is 1 time 208. So what is left is? This is 4. 12 minus 8 is 4. This is 0. This is 1. If you drop down the 0, this is 5 times 1, 0, 4, 0. So it's clearly evident that I can write this 2 into 3, 1, 2, 0 as 2 into 15 into 208. Here also I am getting 208 into 208. Already I have 2 times of B into 208. Right. Now, dividing the whole equation by 208. So if you divide the entire equation by 208, you get a 30 here. Right. You get a 208 here. And you get a minus 2b here. So if you remove, so what you get is, now you can shift 2b to the left hand side and 30 on the right hand side. So you get a 2b is equal to, this is 208 minus 30. So what is 208 minus 30? Very simple mathematics, 8 minus 0 is 8. 20, this is 178. So you can get 178 here. This is 2B. This implies B is equal to half of 1, 
78, which means 89. So 89 centimeter is the measure of my hypotenuse. So I've got a value. Now this is 89. And this is a right angle triangle. So I need to find out the other parameters. Taking this value of B as 89 centimeter, we can put this value, putting the value of the result 5 in result 2. So what I get? If I put the value of result 5 in result 2, I get, see carefully, if I put result 5 value in result 2, I will get A plus C is equal to 208 minus 89. Now this also will be in centimeter. So if we subtract this to what you should be getting. So what is 208? It should be. 1, 1, 9. So this has to be 1, 1, 9. So we can just verify this. 208 minus 89. Again, a simple mathematics. 8 cannot be subtracted. 9 cannot be subtracted from 8. So you take, borrow 1 from 20. So it becomes 19. And now this, this becomes 18. So 18 minus this is 9. 19 minus 8 is 1, 1. So the answer is 1, 1, 9. So I'll just justify this. So A plus C is. Now mark this as result 6. Okay. 3. So what I have done is I have written all the results together. I will use this information to find out the remaining two uh, sides that is A and C. So, taking result 1 and taking result 6, what I can do is, I can write this as A plus C is equal to 119 and instead of C, I can write 3120 upon A. So, what we can do is, I am taking C as 3120.8 and substituting this value in result 6. So what I will get is this implies A plus 3120 upon A equals to 1.9. I hope this is very clear. If you don't understand, pause the video and uh, go through these steps again. Rewind the button and you will see how I have achieved these values. Now, to continue with, we will multiply the entire equation by A as A is not equal to 0. So, what I get is, I get an A square, I get a 3120 and this is 119A. Taking 119A onto the left hand side, we get a full quadratic equation. This is a square minus 119a plus 3120 equals to 0. Now by splitting the middle term. So how do I split this middle term? What is 119? How I can get 3120? If you split 119 as 39 and 80. So, if it is 39 plus 80, you will get 119. And what is 39 into 80? Let us do the multiplication and get it. 8, 9, 0. You will get a first as 0. 8, 9 is 72. 7 carry forward. 8, 3 is at 24. Plus 7, it is 310. That means by splitting the middle term, you will get a square minus 39a minus 80a plus 3120 equals to 0. Now, this implies, if you take an a common, you get a minus 39 minus 80 common, a minus 39 equal to 0. This implies a minus 39 into a minus 80 equals to 0. This means, you have two cases. You have two cases. You have got a as 39, 
then B will be 119 minus this is, this is 80 and your value of, sorry, value of C, B you have already got, this is 89. This is case 1. Now what is case 2? If A is 80, C will be 39 and B will be 89. So in either case, it justifies your Pythagoras theorem. In either case, the perimeter comes out to be 208 centimeter and in either case if you take the area area is half into base so what's your base you can take any one of these as base into height is as 80 this is same as half into 80 into 39 so your answer is either of the two i hope you have understood the solution and please pause the video try by yourself I am sure to get, you will definitely get success. I hope you have uh, gone through the question again. Uh, keep reviving the video. See the steps again and again so that you get a mastery of it. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you have not subscribed our channel, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Shabbat.